Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to update our UI like this. So till now, you can see if we move to the index page and we have this UI. And if I click on create new customer, you can see the header is missing. So what we have to do, I am going to create our common layout. So after that, no need to worry about like header is missing or navbar is missing. So what we have to do so first of all i'm going to create one home.html and you can see here i have added html here in the body i have added one h1 i have given the name as a home and here i have added one button that will create one customer like what we have bootstrap button so now what we have to do we have to render this home.html so you have to just come here copy this code come to the top and update the name as a home now stop your server and restart so if i go to the home and if i load this one you can see we are seeing the button like create new customer but the bootstrap css is not working so now i am going to create our layout so what you have to do first of all you have to create a folder that you can give name as a fragments And here I am going to add one HTML that will be header.html. So this is our header.html. If you notice, I have added this section as a fragment and I am giving the name also fragment as a header. And you have to just go your index page and just copy all the data inside the head section. So now our header is ready. So but we have to assign our header in a one layout page. Page will be render our common header, common footer or we can easily add our dynamic body content. So for that you have to create one layout folder. And after that you have to also add one layout.html. So now you can see I have copy pasted my code and it is just normal html code but if you notice head section i am replacing this head with our header so this is our file and we have created at this location so now what we have to do we have to add our layout to one page so what we can do we have to just come home.html and just mention your layout decorator so we are giving our path here so it will go inside layout and it will take the layout.html after that you have to also import one maven so just copy paste this dependency i have already added in the description now you have to restart the server and if you again refresh this page you can see you are not seeing any data so might be you thought like we added wrong file so what you have to do just come click on view page source and here you can see right this head we have just added currently in the body we don't have any content so definitely we need to add our home data inside the body so what you have to do so here I have added one div that will be row and I'm just putting here column size is 8 here if you notice I have added our one div layout fragments equal to content so what will be happen whenever the page will be loaded it will call this layout.html and here it will load this header after that whatever path you have given like slash home or slash index it will try to to go that page and find their layout so in this case you can see we have added our div layout fragment equal to content and we are trying to load home.html so what will be happen if you go this home.html here it will go to this decorator and it will try to load this layout.html so first of all it will load this header now when it will come inside this body it will try to find like okay home.html does have any content fragment so if you see here we have added our fragment 
layout as a content so now what will be happen just stop and restart it so now if you refresh it you can see right now bootstrap is loading perfectly so if you go to the index.html here we have talented developer stripe portal and if you go to the create new customer that name is missing so i'm going to create one nav bar also so for that you have to again come fragments and here you have to create one file navigation.html so this is our navigation.html here i have added my code it is just normal html but if you notice in the div section i have added this fragment name as a navigation so it will always consider whatever data we have given at this part now we need to add this navigation to our layout so we need to load navigation when the body is started so just paste it and now restart your server so if you refresh this one here you can see right this section is coming so now our next part we need to show this all the customer but i need to add that customer in a new section so for that i need to add one nav bar on the top so i am going to copy paste this code because we need to get same kind of nav bar so here what you have to do just come down paste and we need our fragment name here after that just copy paste here and just remove all this name and just give here customer and here just give href as a customer now if you see here we have given href as a customer so there is no any html page as a customer so what i have to do so here i have copy pasted code here if you notice i have just added fragment as a content so it will always consider as a main part of body now i need to load this customer.html when when i am going to click on customer so what we have to do just come and give here name as a customer it will also load customer html page now stop your server and restart so now if you refresh this url here you can see we are getting this name also and we are getting this section also because still we have not removed this name but if you click on customer here you can see it is showing here customer that means if you click on customer it is loading the customer page but still we need to add this whole thing in this customer so first of all now we no need this div correct so delete this one after that in customer.html we need to load our all the customer so what we have to do if you remember we already have all the code in this index.html so just come here copy fully this div come to the customer.html and paste your code just restart so now if you refresh this one we are currently loading slash customer you can see this table structure is coming but there is no data so why data is missing if you go your controller and if you try to remember last time we load index url and in the index url we call stripe api 
or get all customer after that we set a data right so this code is still missing so what you have to do just come copy this whole code and come here and paste it but if you see here we are getting error because we have not added this model so just copy this line save and now again restart so now if you refresh this one you can see right we can see our customer data but if you click on create new customer here still this UI is not looking good according to our previous UI because now we need to show this common layout so what you have to do again so when we are clicking add new customer it is loading this page and this is that HTML right so now we need to update this HTML with our code so just copy this name come here no need anything in this head section and just come add this now restart your server so if you click on create new customer you can see here right the bootstrap is not loading so why it is happening just come and see as I told you earlier right if you go to this one we have to add our layout decorator due to that the layout is still missing because we have just added this content just come paste your code restart again server now refresh create customer correct now you can see the page is loading perfectly so if you click on customer it is loading here if you go for create new customer it will be loading here but if you are going to add any customer and if you click the success page will be not look good because still we have not updated so let's try mic one two and just click add customer correct you can see we are just showing successfully done so now we need to update our code for success.html also so this is success.html I'm just coming here I have added our layout and we have also added fragment as a content now again start your server so now just come back refresh now create one customer you can see successfully done that means the customer has been created successfully now if you click on customer it will render to the customer and you can see we are getting three customers because we have put it the limit as a three so always you will get the recently three customer so next tutorial we are going to see how to delete after that will come to the get customer and update customer but before that that if you go to this home and if you click we are showing this home and create new customer so I'm just going to remove this thing and going to add a simple name now start your server now refresh correct so if you want to update this UI you can easily update 